Ooh, they said the assassins. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy you done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? So that can geek here. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Puka Boba. I'm actually like four episodes behind. I was planning to start the show as soon as it premiered. But then Peacemaker. Superman and Lois, all these other things kept on dropping and I kept on pushing it back. Now I'm four weeks behind, technically five since the next episode is dropping tomorrow. But I got four episodes to watch today. I'm mad excited. People have been praising the show. Some have been trashing it. I was skeptical about starting the show because I remember watching Mandalorian season two and a lot of characters from Clone Wars showed up in that show and I haven't watched Clone Wars yet and I plan to do that. Um, So I was like, People are going crazy on social media. Oh my God, is this person from Clone Wars? I have no idea who they are the whole time. Except I know Ahsoka and the likes, like the very popular people, but people, some of them are, are in the later seasons of Clone Wars that I've never seen even clips of. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's not waste any more time. I'm mad excited for the spinoff. Um, let's just dive right in. I expect something fantastic and I know it's going to deliver. Lucas Films. Ooh, that's cool. Star Wars. Is this where the post credit scene ended? With them shooting down this dude, taking the throw. Is this how he sleeps? Or did something happen to him and he's healing? Remember the Frieza saga and Goku used to. He healed in one of those cells? This show is going to be mad nostalgic. Damn. Look at that goo. Why isn't that Stormtrooper moving? Oh shit. Oh shit. Mm. Ooh, the score. Damn, he was passed out for that long. Oh, this is how he lost his armor. So this is taking place way before season two of The Mandalorian. They they left him in the desert. Goddamn. Are they gonna recruit him? One of us. Look at his skin. Are they taking him in as prisoner? Oh, what is that? If Mandalorian was like a space western, what is the book of Boba? Damn. Ooh, he's getting dragged. Damn, he's going through it right now. Ooh. Ooh, the score kicked in nicely there. Oh, shit. Damn. They're torturing him? These are kids. Dude is just watching it happen. This episode is showing us that he has some kind of hit list. Like everybody who treated him badly. It's gonna get these hands. Oh my god. Is he gonna use this creature to escape? Oh my god, this creature's design is so cool. Damn. You don't know who you're messing with, creature. Using his teeth now? This dude is snitching? Oh, so he's not a monster. Looks like you're running so slow. Ooh, this creature's fast. What is happening? Is it on some best warrior versus best warrior table? Okay. Damn, he's getting his ass handed to him. Damn. Damn, who's this fighter? Damn. Dude is going through the most. It is a healing machine. Time to do your king duties, or ruler duties, or dictator duties. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. He takes payment from the locals? Oh, these are tributes. Oh, it's a tribute. Is that Chewbacca's fur? That's messed up. Understand how is the mayor going to be the problem? From the corresponding is not the giving tribute. tribute. Damn, you made you the messenger man. He knows. 
The mayor wants tribute. He wants you. Is she trigger happy? Yeah, the mayor is gonna be a problem. Not be surprised. Damn. Do not torture. Is he gonna recruit them? Would you be Lord? With Danton, the helmet. It's kind of distracting. Ooh, he's changing the status quo. Oh, they going clubbing. It's the casino, I suppose. The sanctuary. Oh, they gave him tribute. This show's getting political. Ooh, they sent assassins. Damn. Damn. They already got a hit out on them. Dude. Use your jetpack. Ooh. Oh, I forgot about these two. Damn. Yo, they fight though. Ooh. Damn. Oh, shit. It's a dope ass fight cord. And the use of VFX. Damn. Oh, she ain't letting you slide. Oh, shit. Blew that dude up. Damn, he has to heal again. Ooh, parkour. Damn, did they build this whole town on the roofs? Yo. Disney got money, yo. The fact there's only two left is class. Oh, shit. Oh shit! Oh, you thought you had her. Oh. Okay. Damn. I knew she was gonna kill one of them. You wanna see more flashbacks? Oh, the flashbacks so grainy now. Dude needs to drink some water. Goddamn. Getting the Mad Max treatment. Are they trying to sell them? Oh shit, they robbing these people. What is that? Like a desert lizard dog? <laughs> Dig, man. <laughs> Damn, dude, why does this dude keep finding them? He's basically a slave now. Yo, this thing is not listening to you. What is that? Is that a creature? Oh shit. Oh shit. And the chain. Oh. I mean, all this creature I have. God damn, four arms. Oh my god. Damn. Yo! Oh, he's dead. Oh shit! Is that how he's planning to break the chains? Damn! What a character design! Ooh! He's gonna be accepted into the clan because he saved the youngling. Damn! He's choking the fuck out of this creature. Ooh, they give him a hero moment. Came back with the head. Are they praising him? Look at his skin, goddamn. Ooh, the artwork. Hey, that's cool, dog. <laughs> I mean, it's a great pilot episode. Had some pacing problems there and there. Um, but it was very entertaining. I'm very interested in where the story will progress from here on like it's a great way to introduce the world he finds himself in how he found himself into that world it's even like a slow burn like there's so many more answers that need to be fulfilled like who's trying to kill him you know what i'm saying but anyway phenomenal first episode Star Wars fans, I see. I see you. I see you shining in the TV world. Fix your movies though, but you're shining in the TV world. <laughs> Deuces.